Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. So Allah Khan here and continuing the topic of even and odd signals in which today we see some properties or some basic characteristics of these even and odd signals. Alright? Okay, so the first and the very important is that any DC value is an even signal. Any DC value is an even signal. Now coming into this video, you should know what an even signal is, what an odd signal is. The, the basic criteria is what? It's on the basis of time reversal. So if you time reverse the signal x of negative t, and if it's equal to the original signal x of t, this implies that the signal is an even signal. Similarly, if you time reverse the signal x of negative t and this equals negative times x of t, so this is the this is the case of an odd signal. Or you could also say as in the introductory video, I write it over here. So the negative side could be on either side. Fine. So any DC value is an even signal. Now uh, we'll we'll see this through an example, all of them through example, you know. So, so let's say we have we have a value of a function x of t, let's say it's equal to 5, okay? If this is the time x is now, if you reverse this signal, if you if you reverse the time, so which means you're coming to this time, you, so you take a mirror image about the y-axis, so you would have x of t equal to this value. Let's say this magnitude is a, so it's a for negative t, it's a for positive t, so it doesn't matter, which means that the dc value is an even signal. Fine. The second is let's say DC plus an even signal. DC plus even signal. So this would be an even signal, right? Yes. So and how is this? So let's say we have we have a function x of t equal to 5 plus t uh, squared, right? So 5 is the DC value even in the T squared. So if you time reverse it now, which means now if you put X of negative T, so this would equal 5 plus negative T's whole square would be again T squared. So this would again be a 5 plus T squared. So X of T equals X of negative T. This is even signal. Now have a look. So DC value, we know that it is an even signal. So which means that we can also have another property from this signal that E1 plus E1 is also an even signal. This is based on this and this. Isn't it so? Now DC value plus an odd signal. So the third is DC plus odd. So it is neither even nor odd. Neither even nor odd. So I am running out of ink on this pen. Right? So DC plus or so let's say the dc is x of t let's say a function is which is dc is 5 plus we have t cube right so now if you time reverse it which means x of negative t so this will equal 5 negative t cube now have a look neither it is x of t neither it is negative of x of t so what you have is that uh, the signal is neither even nor odd fine the fourth, so this would imply, oh, okay, wait. So as we know that this DC is an even quantity, right? So we could also, then from this one, we could imply another quantity, another property that an even signal plus an odd signal is neither even nor odd. Is that okay? Right. So the next is now on multiplications. So even multiply even. Even multiply even is even, okay? Even multiply even is even. So let's say if you have two functions, x of t multiplied y of t, and let's say x of t is t squared, y of t is t to the power 4, you multiply these two to get a t to the power 6. Now you have x of negative t is again t to the power 6 because negative 1 to the even power is, is a positive 1. So you have x of t equal to x of negative t, it's even. Now odd multiply odd. Odd 
multiply odd. So this is also an even signal. Now how is it? So let's again x of t multiply y of t. So let's say an odd signal is t is multiplied by another odd signal t cube is t to the power 4. This is x of t let's say. So now what do you have? Time reverse it. x of negative t is negative t to the power 4. Again it would be t to the power 4. x of t equals x of negative t. You get any one thing. Fine. Now even multiply odd. So this would be an odd signal. Number 6 is even multiply odd or odd multiplied even. So this would be an odd signal, right? Yes. Odd signal. And how is this? So let's say we have a function x of t. So this would even is let's say t squared or is let's say t cube. You multiply it to get a t to the power 5. If you time reverse it, then it's x of negative t. So this would be negative t to the power 5, which will be negative outside t to the power 5. x of t is equal to negative times of x of negative t. So which means this is an odd signal. Fine. Now you might you might find my speed a little faster in this video and this has a reason because this I am recording it for the second time. Once I have recorded it yesterday but then while I said to edit it, uh, once I said to edit it, so what happened is that I found out that the noise level was very high. I knew it because everybody was roaming outside and they were making noise but I said just let it go. But once I was editing it, so I then I said that no, this is not proper. So I'm recording it again. So I'm sorry if I if, if the speed is a little higher. Okay. Seven properties. Now the six properties are done. Now the seventh is the derivative. So the derivative of an even signal is an odd signal. And we see it again through an example. So let's say we have the derivative of x to the power four. So so what would it be? We would have a 4x cube. We would have a 4x cube. So x cube is an odd signal. Because if you, know, uh, if you, if you write it with, with the negative t, if you time reverse it, so you will have what? You will have a negative 4x to the power 3. So this is an odd signal. And this is an odd signal except this is except for a DC value. Except for DC value. Why? Because the derivative of a DC is 0. The derivative of DC is 0 and this is something you know. Derivative of odd. Derivative of odd, now you would have understood is even. Derivative of odd is even. Let's say we have the derivative of t to the power 5. So this will equal 5 t to the power 4. This is x of t. If you have x of negative t, it will be again equal to 5 t to the power 4. In this case, x of uh, negative t would equal negative 4 x cubed. Because negative 1 to the power odd is negative, right? So, 8 properties. Now, the ninth is about the integration. Integration. So, the integration of even is odd. Integration of even function is an odd function. And similarly, the integration of an odd is an even. Right? Now, example. So, integration of even. Integration of t squared with respect to t would equal t cube by 3 plus, of course, the constant. So, t cube is an odd function. You know that. You put negative t, you get an odd. So, I don't need to write it because I need a little space. Integration of odd, so integration of t cubed, let's say dt, so it would be t to the power 4 upon 4 plus c, you, you time reverse it, x of negative t would equal x of t, this would be an even c. This is 10th. 11th is that 1 upon e1 is an even signal, and the last 12th is that 1 upon odd is an odd signal. So these are the last two, 1 upon e1 and 1 upon odd. Let me check if I have another. So we don't have it, right? So 1 upon e1, so let's say you had a function 1 upon t to the power 4. So, so this would be even because if you time reverse it now, 
if you have a negative t so 1 upon a negative t to the whole to the power 4 would be again equal to 1 root 2 to the power 4 so again it's an even function similarly for an odd function you have 1 over t to the power 5 you time reverse it you will have a negative t whole to the power 5 which means negative 1 over t to the power 5 so this is negative times the original signal so this is an odd signal so again I'm sorry for the speed the previously I recorded I read uh, the previous time I recorded this video was in 10 minutes I believe this time it would be in 6 to 7 minutes right so that's all about today that's all about this lecture see you in the next one very soon inshallah with examples on even in our signals till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you and do remember me in your prayers and do subscribe to the youtube channel goodbye